Okay, so most people aren't interested in the in-depth specifications of the transient generators and all, all the information. You're going to go find that online. For the most part, somebody just wants a tool that does the test standards that they are trying to meet and do it efficiently. Um, for the most part, a generator is a generator. We trust the manufacturers build them to meet the test standards. And most people just want to get it, plug their product in, and run a test safely. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a run through and I'm just going to kind of give you a brief overview and some of the opinions I give people when I talk to them about transient generators. Most transient generators are packed into a bench top chassis about this size. If your product requires three phase power, uh, the size increases. Uh, this one, the coupler is built in. This rack over here, the coupler stands alone. The Keytech EMC Pro Plus, an oldie but a goodie, uh, packing four different types of tests into a fairly small chassis. However, a two-man lift. You know, these previous generation models are, are, are pretty good. Uh, just the older interface, uh, so a little bit more button pushing to get things done. Uh, they can be considered obsolete when a standard uh, updates and tightens test parameters or adjusts the wave shape but adequate for pre-compliance testing in, in, in most cases. Standalone EFT generator, nice and light. Standalone surge generator, not so much. Thought of something else, modular systems. For instance, this section here can be pulled in and out and swapped to produce a different transient test. Uh, modular systems used to be trendy, but uh, not so much anymore. Uh, resetting the modules would make them finicky. Okay, the system here uh, compares just about apples to apples to that EMC Pro Plus we looked at earlier. Uh, main difference, coupler right here on the bottom uh, requires more cabling, setup time, so kind of a hassle. Okay, down here is a 10 kV surge generator. Just the generator, uh, that's a coupler on top just for telecom lines. Over here, this is a pulse generator for uh, military test standard. Okay, so the key pieces of information we want when identifying the system is the test standard, the power the product requires, and what kind of data lines it uses. Uh, the goal is always to get the equipment into one box, but sometimes it takes more.